Hey everybody, Andy the Kenworth Guy here. I am in the Winnipeg airport and I have a very different video to bring to you guys here today. So let's jump on this plane and I'll show you where we're going. Hey everybody, I'm Andy the Kenworth Guy. Thanks for coming by the channel today. Woo -wee! Did I not tell you that this video was gonna be something really different? Uh, I'm not only on location, I am out of my province. I'm in Ontario, down in Sault Ste. Marie, uh, a day of flying, uh, picking up a truck and driving it halfway around the country here to get it to my customer. Well, today we are unveiling the latest T880 triaxle dump truck that I've sold to Trimount. So let's see what we're looking at today. I gotta say, this is one beautiful part of the country. Like, look at these trees and look at this truck and just look at where we are. We're in an asphalt plant. We're Trimount. Uh, the customer here who's purchased this truck, this is one of their plants and they were uh, kind enough to let me shoot a video on their newest Kenworth that I sold to them. Wow, just look at this. This is intense. Intense blue to be exact. That's the name of the color here. So first of all, before we get really deep into the video here and talking about all the bells and whistles and specs on this truck, I'd like to give a big thank you to all the folks at Trimount. First of all, from Chuck, Andrew, Megan, thank you so much for putting your trust in me. This is one of several trucks that they've purchased from me in the last year and uh, congratulations on your success and your growth and uh, thank you for purchasing this truck. I really truly appreciate it very much. So let's see what we're looking at here. So this is our T880. Uh, obviously it's got a gravel box in the back. We'll get into the details on that in a bit. Uh, we had to, didn't do a ton of aftermarket customizations on it aside from the body, uh, but it's fairly stock out of the factory and uh, just beautiful the way that it turned out. So 
I like to order these heavier duty trucks with the heavy duty bumper here. So it's got the stainless chrome channel tapered bumper with the center mount tow pin. Aluminum metal mesh grill is standard with the stainless spear. And man, we were polishing this truck up. Look at that. That's just like a mirror polish in there. Just really, really nice. Just gorgeous. We're getting close to magic hour. That's the time of day when the lighting is perfect for pictures. But uh, it's getting a little bit low in the sky. It's, I think, close to six o'clock here. But anyhow, uh, looking at the front end here, this is a 20,000 pound front axle with a four and a quarter tire. We have on the fenders, the fender closeout panels down below there. So that there is just to help close out the fender and just gives it a cleaner look. Put the four inch rubber fender lips on it right there. We got the air intakes and with the air intakes, we have those uh, pre-filters, the pre-cleaners that go uh, and run before the air is going to the main air filter on the truck. Uh, we have the painted mirrors, that beautiful intense blue on the mirror caps. You can get them either chrome or painted. This blue, you gotta put it wherever you can. Just looks super awesome. Uh, we have the diamond plate battery box step here with a battery disconnect switch that I put on. And this here is the fuel tank here on the driver's side. A few things had to get moved around on it. Uh, that's why you can kind of see some of the strap marks. So, but just a good buffing polishing wheel, which I didn't have with me. Otherwise we would have uh, maybe taken the time to get it done. But uh, anyways, for sake of the video, this is how it is. Uh, up here we have the Provisio kit. This is uh, all to do with spiff compliance. It's something that uh, Ontario requires for these lift axles. Uh, so basically when the weight in the box exceeds a certain amount, this axle will automatically drop. Uh, when you pop it in reverse, it'll automatically go up uh, regardless of the weight in the box. So there's uh, quite a few things that are involved in that. And the good folks at Gincor Works, uh, they did all of that for me and they've uh, been a very good business partner to work with. So thank you so much Ward and everybody at Gincor for uh, helping us put this Bebo box on this be beautiful W, w T880. <laughs> all the B's and the D's and the W's, I'm, my, I'm getting tongue twisted here. And not to mention I'm on like four hours sleep last night. So uh, back here we have the additional fuel tank. Uh, where's the def tank? Maybe this truck doesn't have def on it, I wonder. No, it does, it's on the other side. But uh, here we have the larger uh, 75 gallon fuel tank right there, which straddles between the left axle and the drives. We have the Hendrickson Primax suspension here, and then the 46,000 pound rear axles with the 430 gears in here. Now with this, uh, we also have the mirror polished rims and they got a little bit of dust on them just driving around, taking pictures in the yard here, but uh, they wipe up and shine up really nice. Look at this here. That's just epicness right there. Boom, boom. <laughs> Boom, <laughs> I love it. Uh, try them out, look at that. That just looks super cool. Really nice. Big Bebo badge, big Gincor badge, and then the try mount badge. Now down below here, we have the trailer and pup controls. So we have the pinnel right there. We have the hydraulic lines for the rear and then the air lines running to the back along with the electrical. So that's all back there. Just look at, look at this truck, just gorgeous. This truck rolled into their shop. I drove it uh, with them down uh, yesterday. We got to their shop at about 1.30 in the morning. And by 8.30 this morning, it was all deckled up with their decals or decals, depending on where you're from, what you call it. Here's the hydraulic tank. So we have a uh, factory installed hydraulic tank matching straps, matching caps and everything. And then there is the large style def tank. Now, similar to that red dump truck I did uh, not so long ago, uh, that truck had a heated box and so does this here. So there's the flap right there. And then you got the heat that runs through the channel uh, to heat the box up for you. Down below there is the DPF emission system in there. And then we obviously have the dual exhaust. Now it is only connected on the one side as per emissions and it's been that way for the number of years. Uh, 
Uh, something I like to do when I'm specking trucks, especially the new 2.1 meter cabs, is putting on these extra grab handles because if you don't, you open the door, there's no grab handles to grab onto on the outside of the truck. Just makes it that much easier to get in and out of the truck. Let's uh, open up the hood here and I'll show you a few things underneath what we got going on. Nice and easy hood to open, not a lot of effort required. So this has the Cummins X15 Productivity Series, gray badge, 565, 1850 torque. It is a powerhouse. Uh, performance is fantastic. Like I say, I drove this truck up here yesterday, just so responsive. And what makes it extra responsive is it is paired with an Allison 4500 RDS transmission. That is, this is the most bulletproof combination here that you can get. Lots of power, keep up with traffic when you're rolling down the highway, and it just does a fantastic job for a uh, P and D dump application. Just love it. Uh, as far as maintenance, uh, some of the features I like to show on the T880, uh, you have the bolted on fenders kind of up in there, as you can see. And those are actually not bonded. They're bolted. So if you do get into a situation where you hit a snow pile or a rock pile and you bust up a fender or you hit a hit something, you maybe don't have to repaint the whole hood. You just paint up to the seam or replace the fender and not have to replace the whole hood for thousands and thousands of dollars. So a really good investment right there in the product design. As far as down below here, we have the battery boost terminals and then we have the air chuck right here. That is just to uh, fill up the air on the truck. Pack our fuel heated water separator right there. And let's take a look on the other side. And I'll give you the quick two bit interior tour on it here. Uh, on this side here, we have the hot side turbo. Uh, we have the additional power steering box. So this is a 20,000 pound uh, power steering rating on the front end. And then uh, here we have the coolant uh, to go into the HVAC system, taps to shut it off and on if you uh, so choose, like say in the summertime, you don't want to run coolant into the HVAC system, you can uh, turn that off. Uh, speaking of HVAC, it's all rated right up here. Easy to clean the uh, push nut right there. And then uh, down below here, this is where we have the filters. So those are easy to change, one-handed operation. And you can have the secondary, which is an option. Uh, you have the standard filter, which is right here. So easy to change those one handed, no tools required, salesman approved and easy to do. You don't have to be a technician to do that. Just get it done. Beautiful. All right, so uh, let's go inside and finish off this tour. <laughs> It's almost magic hour. The sun is getting low. Once it gets low though, it is just like gonzo. All right, so inside the truck here, we have the Vantage interior in the gray trim package. So you gotta love that. Uh, that is really nice mix up with the blue. And then uh, here is the digital display. So the keypad right here, as far as the uh, joystick goes, if you want to call it that, uh, you can operate that with your thumb to see more gauges or less gauges. And then uh, you have your forward back, you're answering your phone, your radio controls. Over here, we have cruise control, uh, on off, your set resume buttons right there. And then you can set your waypoints. Uh, some people use that for like trip, uh, keeping track of trips and so on and so forth. Over here is your window lift controls, your door locks and your mirror uh, heat controls. And then we did the full gauge package, which I like to do, just kind of have it uh, old school looking with all the gauges. And then down below, we have all the switches and uh, full locking differentials right there. PTO switch, your snubber, your tailgate trip for the truck and the trailer, air suspension dump for the truck, regen, a couple spares, and uh, your trailer spike right there.
Now down on the floor here, we have the uh, controls for the PTO that GenCorp put in. So this is one of their airline boxes uh, for, for lifting, hoisting, and then controls for all of the trailer and or truck operation. So that's, uh, that's quite a nicely set up box. I am a big fan of how this one is set up. It's all uh, nice decals labeled. Uh, so you're not having like uh, all the different, um, what do you call it? All the different sticky tapes tapes over top of spare switches it's just a really nice really nice integration into the into the product so as far as these seats go this is the uh, ultra leather seats the gt702 seats a uh, quick and easy way that i like to find the, the difference between the 702 and or a 703 is the lumbar support so 702 you have two lumbar supports 703 you have three uh, the truck also, you can get heated seats in here. Not really required on this application, but these are really comfortable seats. And like I said earlier, the truck does come with an Allison transmission. Hey, look, my uh, water bottle made it into the video. Sorry, I got distracted there. My Yeti water bottle all stickered up. Uh, so it has an Allison 4500 push button. This is just the slickest transmission to operate. So... Let's go for a drive and I'll show you what this is all about. All right, so let's uh, fire up this truck and see what it can do. So first of all, you'll notice it's a nice quiet cab. It's not a lot of noise. That's just the two-way radio in there. But putting the truck in gear is really simple. You just hold the D sign down while applying the brake, pushing the parking brake and hammer down. There goes my cup. So it's really nice, easy truck to drive. You can really maneuver around the job site and pay attention to the road and not have to worry about clutching and shifting. And the acceleration is just out of this world. This acceleration here. It's right to the mat. Unbelievable shifting, unbelievable power. It's so smooth. These Allison transmissions are incredible. Talking with my customer, Chuck, Chuck, what would you say is the nicest thing to drive, the nicest thing about your new truck? What would you say? The continuous, consistent power and upshifting, it just, it doesn't have a leg, it keeps up with traffic. No leg, that's awesome, yeah, continuous power, that's because it has a torque converter. And you marry it up to a big engine, a 565 Cummins 1850 torque. You're gonna have that power at your at your toes all the time. And there's the Jakes. A lot of guys want to hear the Jakes. How this how they sound. There they are. Lots of power. The Jakes are very powerful. Not as loud as I'd like them to be, but that's just trucks nowadays how they are We're going on a little goose trail <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> all right so that's a quick tour I guess on a uh, driving tour of this truck so uh, yeah I know I don't do them very often but maybe I'll do more let me know if you want to see them and uh, comment below all right, so thank you for joining me on this tour of this beautiful brand new truck. Again, a big thank you to TriMount for purchasing it. It is a beautiful addition to the fleet. And uh, as Chuck says, it is the king, the king of the fleet, king of the road. <laughs> Love it, great idea. 
Uh, hey, if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel, please do that. You can just click on the subscribe button in the bottom corner here. And if you wanna be notified when I come up with new videos, you can knock off that bell and you'll get that notification of when my next video comes out. You can also check on my website, which is thekenworthguy.com. I have up there all the links to all my social media platforms, how you can get a hold of me if you need to reach me. So that's it for this week's video. Thanks for checking in. Uh, by far, this was the longest, uh, what do you say, production, if you wanna call it that. This is the longest preparation for a YouTube video that I've done. I've had to fly out here to get to the truck to do a video, but it was definitely worth it. Thanks again for watching. Thanks, TriMount. Have yourself the world's best day.